This week's lesson keeps repeating this one idea, wrath. Now, I don't know about you, but when I think of wrath, I think of the time I borrowed my dad's car. Before he handed me the keys to the car, he warned me to take care of his car or otherwise I would face his wrath or something about an early grave. You get the point. So imagine my fear when one day I was driving home and I had an accident with his car. And by an accident, I mean I wrecked my dad's car. I was some 60 kilometers from home when it happened and it would take my dad an hour to come and rescue me. That gave me an hour to imagine all of the things my dad might do to me in his wrath to make me pay for wrecking his car. Now that's what most people imagine when they think of God's wrath. We sin and God is going to punish us and make us suffer for making him mad. I mean, after all, we've sinned and we deserve to pay for what we've done, right? I can't tell you how often in the past something bad would happen to me and I thought that God was making me pay for some sin I had committed. I mean, after all, justice demands payment, and it does. But here's what I discovered. Most of the bad things that happened to me was not God punishing me. As today's lesson points out, what I was experiencing was the consequences of my sin. For example, If I decided to eat lots of unhealthy food and one day I have a heart attack, can I ask, did God make me sick because I ate unhealthy foods? No, he didn't. I made myself sick through my own sinful living. If I were to choose to smoke cigarettes and I end up dying of lung cancer, can I ask, did God do that to me or did I do it to myself? You see, Often God's wrath is God simply allowing us to accept the consequences of our own bad choices. Notice that in Ezekiel 18.23, God says, Do you think that I like to see the wicked people die, says the sovereign Lord? Of course not. I want them to turn from their wicked ways and live. Here's the point of scripture. You can sin. You're free to do that. But understand, sin kills everything it touches. God doesn't have to kill you your sin will. You see, the actual punishment for sin, or the wrath as we call it, is that we die and we die forever, as in you're never leaving the grave. But God, not in wrath, but in mercy, sends Jesus to forgive and remove our sin, and in its place, he gives us the gift of eternal life. God tells us that we can choose life or death. Which do you choose? And that was our nugget for today. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you tomorrow.